You are stepping into the wealth and great inheritance of your Father, who is the owner of all the reams both in heaven and on earth. Your blessings are not far from you anymore. There are general blessings that everyone is privy to. For instance, the shining of the sun and falling of the rain. Matthew 5 verse 45 says, For he makes his sun rise on the wicked and on the good, and makes the rain fall upon the upright and the wrongdoers alike. So whether good or bad, righteous or wicked, there are blessings that apply to everyone. And there are some blessings that you get as a result of cause and effect. For instance, if you sow and diligently watch over your seeds, nurturing it, it is expected that you should reap a harvest. When you work hard, it is normal that you get a reward for your hard work. In this case, however, we are speaking of unusual blessings, things that are not common to just everybody. There are spiritual blessings for every man in Christ. It is an automatic inheritance. They are divine in nature, but many do not see it because they cannot be physically discerned. Many rob themselves of the great wealth they already possess in Christ. The blessings you have in Christ are not common blessings. They are unusual blessings and you need to begin to see them through the eyes of faith. When you can see them, then you can start thinking of accessing them. God wants you to be a recipient of all that is good and he has his ways of arranging beautiful things in your path. Just go to him and ask him to open your eyes to that unusual blessing that you have been missing at the point where you are. Isaac was in a particular place and because there was a famine in the land, was thinking of moving just like his father did, but the Lord stopped him. Sometimes we might be tempted to go the ways others go. We want to do things just as others have done. We reason within ourselves that if they made it using that method or going to that place, why cannot we? The painful thing is that we sometimes follow the steps of unbelievers instead of the other way around. Do you not realize who you are? Do you not know the position you occupy? Have you forgotten about the wealth in your possession, the abundance that you are privy to? See, the ways of God are not the ways of men. So you might think your blessing lies in a particular direction when God is saying otherwise. You might think the grass is greener on the other side when God wants you to stay at that particular location you are. That was what happened with Isaac. But glory to God, in his case, he had enough sense to listen to God's instructions. When God asks you to do something, or gives you a particular instruction, do not hesitate to do it. Do not question God or try reason things out on your own. You will only end up cheating yourself of so much. It might not seem sensible at the moment, and you might be wondering why you are getting such instructions. Instead of questioning God, just have enough faith to believe whatever He says and trust Him, knowing that whatever He does is for your good because he has your best interest at heart. You might have been working in a particular place for years and all of a sudden you get invited for another job, one of your dreams, and God asks you to stay at that place where you have been. It sounds quite absurd, but if it is God asking you to stay there, it is because he knows there are great blessings where you are and with time you will see them come to you. Do not ever doubt God's voice or refuse his instructions. It is in obeying his instructions that your eyes will be open to unusual blessings and you begin to access all that God has for you. In Isaac's case, he stayed in the land during a period of famine where every other person was experiencing scarcity. There was a drought, plants were not growing properly, the crops were not yielding, and Isaac sowed in the land. He was working based on God's instructions. People might have called him foolish, they might have laughed at him, telling him he was wasting his time and energy. They might have said all kinds of things to discourage him, but he did not let it get to him. He went ahead, sowed in the land, 
and he did not just reap a harvest, he reaped a hundredfold that same year. Even when you plant in rainy season or when the weather is favorable, there are many chances that you lose some of your crops to pests or one disaster or the other. You might have a good harvest, maybe reap in 30 folds or 60 folds. But what are the chances that you get a hundredfold, especially in a period where the weather was quite unfavorable, almost non-existent? But with God, all things are possible. By following God's instructions, Isaac was able to access supernatural wealth and reap in abundance. Genesis 26, verse 12 through 14. God's blessings are all around you. Unusual blessings, unusual favor, good success, prosperity, and abundance. If you are not seeing them at work in your life, cry out to God to open your eyes so that you begin to see. What you do not see, you do not take steps to acquire. When your eyes are open, that is when you can begin to access and make use of those blessings. The servant of Elisha was scared that they would be captured by the Syrian armies. But Elisha was not shaken in any way. What was the difference between the two of them? Sight. While Elisha could see the host of heaven that was on their side, the servant could not, and so he was shaken. Elisha prayed that his eyes would be opened, and the moment he saw that those that were with them are more than those against, he also had assurance and rest of mind. If you are not experiencing unusual blessings, do not know where to go, whom to turn to for help or what to do, ask God to open your eyes, and he will. Like the widow who had a little jar of oil in her house, you might have been overlooking certain things in your life as negligible. These are things that might actually open the doors for unusual blessings in your life. From this moment, God will direct you to your source of unusual blessings. Do not look down on anything or anyone. God can use anyone to bless you as well. It might be a member of your family. It might be through an act of kindness that is rewarded. It might also be through a seed you sow, your tithes, offerings, and lendings of alms. Solomon gave a thousand burnt offerings to the Lord, and that was the beginning of great and unusual blessings in his life. He had riches and wealth coupled with great wisdom. Your eyes will also become open to unusual blessings, wealth, greatness, and abundance. Step into the ream of the supernatural dominion and affluence. It is your birthright.